Okay, we'll start. Okay. Yes. So today's topic is that uh, hooks. So we have covered some basic learning of React JS, but how it can be added, how the component has been created, how we can import and export our component. So today we are going to learn something new that is hooks, React hook, and after means react 16.8 version right rooks hooks are introduced hooks is a new feature in the react 16.8 version so what is hooks hooks allows you to use your state inside that functional component so if our component is divided into two parts one is functional component another is class based component so in the functional component if we want to manage our state if we want to manage our state and perform some actions so that time we have to use the hooks there is many types of hooks are there one may be use state hooks your use effect hook or use reducer hook i'm sharing my screen my screen is visible right please tell me yes sir So you can say that use state, use rape, use effect, contest, use reducer. So same thing, if we are using class-based component, that time we have to do this part, this action in different forms. But in the functional component, they are providing the reactors enhance their features, that is hooks. Use state is equivalent to, you can say, your normal state in class based component what we will write state and we have to update the state through this dot save state same thing in the functional component if we have to manage our state that time we have to use use state hooks another concept is that use ref use ref hooks that is also used for if you have some inner HTML if you have to select something from the input type or input type text or in a div, div ID, it has some inner HTML that you want to take that part. So you can use, use ref. It is using as a reference. And use effect loop that is mainly perform that when you want to fetching the data, like API call, you're updating your DOM or timer action. That time we can use that use effect loop. So I will provide one by one everything in the hands-on so i will start with that use state hook so i will write i'll do it here okay First, I'm showing that array destructuring and that the value how we have to grab from that hook. First, that is my props. I'll add one props and I'll create one function that is your app. Instead of apps, I will pass my hook. A, a prop like this now this method i can i have some values right uh, hello one hello two hello three hello four.
active value I will add over here and this item right first item from the array we can grab this thing also right first you can see that value one also added one one more thing if we'll copy this one and paste here see that value I will add so without destructuring the array we can also get the value this way right but yeah. alternatively with that destructuring the array we can also get the value so first element is empty second or third third means it will map automatically this item we have to grab so this is the destructuring of array and we can pass the props from my app and this value we can add over here so now i'm starting that new state of function here I will create one object my OPG is equal to at my name or Any value. So this is your first element of that use state, and then when you update the state in the functional component, so first we have to write use state. Use state. You can see the use state. Now in use state we have to also import. First we have to check the use state is import or not. So import react comma your instead from react. Okay. I will add this value. So this is the initialized value. I have asked value. I have initialized. To return. Div. Div. Inside that div. I am to write. New file. What? You can see, but first in state I have added to an object and I will pass in the in state. This is the first initialized object. Then what I will do? I have to update the state. So 
one button. Update. You have to wrap this thing, either fragment or div. Update the state. Nothing is happening there. Right? So I have to add one event on click. This is my event, and inside that event, I'll do function and then update the value. So remember, set new value means value. So whatever name you are providing. The same thing you have to add in the camel case in the, with the set. First, we have to add the set and then this value. So, I have add set new value. Hmm. Set new value. I will add the value. Hello, right. Update. See what I mean. What I will do, I have to add the objects as the same thing. So, my name lower. So my first object, the value, whatever I'm providing, that is the object. If I will take const, the value will take that is your copy. And do and create one button. I will add set new value. Here, yeah. yeah. the new value. So this value is in the first rendering and then whenever I update the state, so this value is coming. So this is the use statehood. Okay. Any questions? So Next example that I will show with the check box, the same thing.
Can create other fruits that is your chip. Let's hit chip. Put instead. So by default, I will pass the value of false. Okay? false. Now I will take one in this box. So value, what value will pass? That is your check. This value I will pass. And in the on change one event I will trigger that is if if check. Not checked. On yeah. that, if I will print that value is means updated or not, so I will print the value. Or not checked. You can see that I have not checked. If I will check, the value is changed. Check. Same thing I will do with the use state of. So this is the my, my first initial value. I will add the in the value. By default, I will pass false. So the state is updated with the false value. I'm not adding anything. Now what I will do in the on change event handler, I will take and then I have to update the set check. So set check means you have to update your state in the use state method. Okay. And then if you will check and check if that checked or not. If check, then there is the ternary operator is called. So instead of if e, e else, I will add this thing. So value is checked, then it print check. If value is not checked, it will print not check. When I trigger, so it's checked. And when I not, I will just uncheck it, so not checked. Any, any questions? Hello. No.
next example that i will add it with some i will install one thing that is react icons so i will add this version react icon I call four point six point or you can also add the react icon to will search in the net npm so you can also grab this thing and Install the React icon. Land over here. So we'll add the icons and Create on form name that is your get this thing. It does. Now each bit I will take each bit and. By default, I will pass to you. So this is my plus. This plus I will pass from here. Nothing is rendering. What I will do? I'll return and take one bit. And I'll create first on L.
icon I'll import it from React icon. So that if you install this package, React icon, so you'll get that if you start model. I'll pass an attribute about to like color. Color, what I will do? Let's look. Pass it to the file there. All click. Will be called to on select. This is coming as a props. What that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Plot to the other plots and parts. Mm 
Não. So I have to pass the value from this object to star component. I will pass T. It's connected. I see that slip to start. Put an on on slip. And pass. Slip to start. Yeah. So I can see. Now if you slip two start, so it will show two. If I will add three, it will show three. Okay. And also this way you can select your start. So what I will do first, I have created one app. Inside the app, I will first start the in component. So this is more star rating component. In the star rating component, I will pass the props as total star. How many star is there? Five. I will pass five. If I pass three, it will show three. If I pass nine, it will pass it will show nine star. If we click two, three, four, okay, the total star I will pass. And I have created the state, new state method. So I will pass the zero by default, okay, in the select tester. And then I will iterate the object. The create area will create other array for getting the length. How many star are there? So I will create the map. The map function, I will and then iterate the objects and pass in the star component. So this is my star component. This is the other component, okay. Component. 
in the start component, I will pass this value again. Selected false by default. I have not selected anything. So false and on select. On select is method I will pass as a prop. Yesterday also the same thing that on select method. And then in the on select method, I will pass that set select start. That is the update. How I have to update the state right these things and you can see that i plus one so every time when i select so one item has been updated this thing two three this way and then in the star component i will pass the array and if a star that is coming from your react icons these things and i will pass the attribute or block that is your color either selected so it will be red otherwise green and i will pass that on click event in the on click event what the event are coming from here i just pass that is as a prop and this prop i will pass in the on click and the selected star of total star how many stars are there and how many stars are selected that's why I've created so it's you can pass any number of stars over here. Now, other example that is use a get hooks. Any questions on use state? Hello. Yeah, no. So you understood, right? This thing. You yeah, but uh, I have a question regarding uh, function. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, you what? You know, which example? Uh, you, example pass you, the yeah. pass minute, you pass a curly bracket. You pass a curly bracket. Okay. Yes. Yes, uh, function is This start. example, right? Now you yes. tell me why. Yes. So this is you can pass. This is my props. Okay. Okay. This is my props. So you can pass the props and inside. Then you have to what you have to do? Props dot selected. So instead of props dot selected, I will pass the same object. Whatever I pass as a props, right? You can see selected and on select two things. I will pass. So you can see if I will and make it props. Okay. Now, okay. Console dot logs or do one thing. Otherwise, it will not work. Just call me at console dot log. I'll pass props. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I'll pass props. Hmm. Now, what is the thing? So I will add props dot okay and also okay. that your color is there and prop dot on select prop dot on select you can see same thing you can see the prop find star props. Same thing, right? Selected false on that value on select event. Yes, I will add. Okay, uh, will it work thing. when we separate the component in different file? Yes, okay. okay. Different okay. component means I cannot understand. Can you please? Mm -hmm. Well, like, uh, no, help me. Uh, okay, hello. Yes, yes. I'm, I can hear you. You can. Okay, uh, uh, if yes, we yes, separate yes. our uh, star function in separate file, then it, uh, the array distancing will work? 
Yes, obviously. So okay. I will do one thing. What in the same file index.js file, right? I will just show these things. Okay. So if you destructuring these things, na, in star dot js, right? It is equal to star dot js. Sorry. Uh, star dot js. So we have in different file, right? This you want. Yes. Yes. Hmm. You have to import these things. Import and export for if you if your JS is different, then you can import and export. Otherwise, functionality is the same. Okay. okay. I will okay. create this thing in different JS file. I will create this thing in different JS file. And also the function I'm also the different JS file. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Now got it. Okay. Next is use effect hook. So what is use effect hook? That generally or it it is used uh, that for your if you calling the API API call. So in the API call, in the functional component, we have to use use effect hook. Or if you have to update your DOM in the use effect hook. Or if you have set time or set timeout option, this kind of thing. So you can also use this use effect hook. The use effect hook, this example I'll show you. I create on function symbol. Same thing I use on const and name, comma, set name. We will do first use it. And that name, name I will pass. Return what I will do. This one Peter. So now we'll take one use effect hooks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to import this thing. Use effect same place same in the place. Use effect hooks. It's a core component. Use state. Use effect. Use the result that is coming from the React component. Okay. So if I will put console.log 
Ali. Hello. Sona. Name and pass. And one other use effect also use. this one let's see it's coming from this use effect to the console log immediately when the use status is rendered then you able to start it right so you can take multiple use effect groups use effect And other use effect that is my console dot log. And put that what I will take other use that hook I will take. That is your admin. Take admin. So, Control loss, the user is what admin. If admin, then so admin. First name. And that was pitch Not admin. And it has deepen one third array, that is one dependency array is there, that is this looks. Means it is dependent on the name, right? It will render. It will call when the name is fired. And again, it will be there if I will call admin. Yes. Now, what I will do? We will take one button. Button, and I will take on click event. My on click event, what I will do? Set name. Any my pass. Well, this is my change name. When I change it, that time this is called it. Right? You know, because I have add this array, and the value is changed to G -G -G. Other button I will take for the admin button. On from Peter, if admin so logged in 
So value is false, so that's why not logged in. Now what I will do, I will take one button. Button I will click. I will do set again. Pass the value true. And log. Log. I got this here. Is it? You can see that the console log is coming only for that admin, but whenever I press that event, logged in. And I change name, that only this thing. So it's dependent. Means the use effect inside the console log, this value only means that when I trigger this function name or set name, that time this use effect to call an admin. So you can also add this array and also create the multiple use effect to inside the console component. For example, that is primary example and so you. Function uh, I will do one const. I will do one data, comma, set data. I will call one API. So first, what I will do? Use that help us empty array. So in JavaScript, you remember it when in before the for loop, what will take one array, right? On empty array. Then from for loop and then inside the for loop, we'll do empty array dot push dot push this thing, right? So same thing. By default, I will take one empty array in the if step. Now, it's effect. will take another. I will create one page. It's used for the calling the API, which is by default. Otherwise, you can use Axios or Ajax or XML HTTP request for getting the data from the API. Now, I will call this API. What you can say pin function. Pin function, what I will do is pawn. It's pawn. It's okay. Then what I will do, but then the data is there, so I set the data. Set data. And pass right. Let's hit data and what I will do. 
and depending on the data, this follows. Now, if data is present, I will render. It will return. In the return, I will take one tape. And take one ELLI. The UL and I, I will iterate the object that is my data dot map and then one iterator is the user the user. What I will do, I will take one LI. Like we will take one key is equal to I will pass the user ID user dot ID. Here I will pass user dot login. That is your one okay. You can see the value is coming, right? So response are coming. What will do? And control log the response. Control dot log. Good. And here, we are going to see what the data stuff data is there. So, I will now my data. Comma, response, I will check. You can see the data that is coming. Right. The URL and response. From the response, I will the object and hit the data. We'll do. We'll pick one button. I will take in the button. One button I will take. I will remove the data. One button I will take that is remove the data. So now I'll click this is my event. I'll do a same data. I will print data will be done. Okay. okay. The data options there. Mm 
What happened? Remove the data. There is some yeah. Hey, I got sick. Sorry to interrupting. Hello, yes. Yeah, I have a question. Like, yes. uh, whenever yes. I, uh, the use effect method call, whenever the uh, mm -hmm. data is changing, like the state of data change. Oh, use effect in the is is in the use effect method, na? This is the hooks, right? I will okay. call the fetch function. I will call the fetch no, no, function, uh, right? Uh, I am asking uh, when the uh, hook like use effect uh, run, no? Oh. The okay, like you have that a uh, use state. No, data and set data. Uh, uh, so so use the use effect method is my empty array. Okay. Okay. This is my empty array. I will take right in the JavaScript instead of React or Angular. In the JavaScript, what I will take? Call array is equal to new array. Right. This is my empty okay. array. I will take right. And okay. after some JavaScript that dollar dot ajax, this kind of thing you write right in the JavaScript mm -hmm. and we got the response right the success method the success okay. method means then method here in the fetch is the callback method then so in the this is my success method right i will get response dot okay. json i will get the response and it's a chainable call chain callback method okay dot then dot then i can use multiple dot and it automatically okay. pass the data in that your set data set data will update it right you can see the set data is updated and then i what i'll write if data is present means if data is there so it will return it will okay. return one div right and in the div i will take one ula line but it's a view purpose there is no nothing other than meaning okay ula line and the data dot map i will take one Iterator x, name, even again x, x dot id or x dot log. Okay, yeah. you can take it. Minute, I will remove this thing. Okay, and when the use state run, use state no no, uh, you uh, set uh, and yeah. when the, uh, the uh, uh, when the uh, use effect run, okay, this is the use effect. When the use effect, I have to Yes. Like uh, there is a uh, so, state of uh, data variable. When the function component is invoked, na? Uh, ah, mm -hmm. the component is invoked, right? Means when the component is running, the so first use state is hook is called. Okay. So after okay. this, this, this state, this is that after the use effect hook is called. You can take means okay. if I I cannot run this function function directly before that use effect hook. Okay. So I will the data persistence. I cannot persist the data in the component. It's a hook means it's a life cycle concept. If you use console, if you use any means uh, .NET, PHP, wherever, some life cycle hooks is there, right? So in the life yeah. cycle hook, you have to grab the data. Otherwise, the data I am not written this thing. It, React has provided. So yeah. inside it's the wrapper, use effect. Yes, this is my wrapper. In that use effect wrapper, I will call the fetch method. In that, uh, you can, in the fetch method, so you can take other method also. If you, if you with dollar, if you install the jQuery, so you can use dollar dot. Yeah, yeah, I got this. Asa, uh, I, have, I have one more question. Like uh, yes. if in the, in, in after the use effect method, if we, if we again run the use state and mm -hmm. change the state of data, 
then uh, bill uh, uge phir mm. matter again then or not this bill like, uh, runs after you only once again if you uge hmm okay 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 this is only one time run and the state the, the the value the value you have to grab now then you can pass the view right in the mbc stack you not you have to grab the value from your model your controller then you call pass the value from controller to your view right in the dot net yes. the same thing so this my controller you can assume that right is by life cycle so same thing means in the functional component we cannot use any life cycle method so that's why react has provided hooks in that hooks yes. means i will grab the data so use effect hooks mainly use for fetching the data from the api you have to add um, set timer function you have to update your dom that kind of operations you have to add inside the use effect hooks and it will run only once na uh, yes when your data is passed na so i will write the logic right if data means data is present then only it will return you can see yes so it will else if i will write else what happen return cut it paste it okay and do one thing user one so data dot map is not coming right it's showing some error so data one or anything and do it so one minute so either you can do if data or return this thing okay inside the block in this block your api after you can pass, pass is as a prop okay this data okay hello hmm. so okay so yes, yes. tomorrow uh, that other example yes so from tomorrow the hooks will be going on two modes okay there are other example of use context custom hooks we can provide in the demo so today use effect and use set hooks will cover and tomorrow i'll add the use context and use reducer okay 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 is there any questions or otherwise i'll stop the presentation and after this uh, two classes i will provide you that the uh, code base okay for the hooks whatever i've done thank you Thank you. Mm, thank you. Bye. Thank you.